Narcissistic people tend to be very self-absorbed, they're very grandiose, they have that self-serving empathy and they have that where they believe they are more important than all others, that self-importance. They can come across as extremely confident with their charismatic charm on the outside. However, this is usually a mask to hide their heaply hidden insecurities on the inside. There's several things that narcissistic people struggle to get over. This video is just going to be a few of those. And one of the first things that a narcissist struggles to get over is any form of criticism, perceived criticism, any form of constructive feedback. Narcissistic people take this as a personal attack on their self-image they can react very defensively. They can seek to gain that validation. And when they're not getting the validation from others, and when people aren't agreeing with them, the narcissist takes this as criticism and gets very offended by this. They're very sensitive to people not going along with what the narcissist wants. They tend to hold grudges against others and they tend to seek revenge against others. Yes, criticism isn't very nice. And yes, when somebody has hurt you in some way, we can have a moment of holding a grudge or wanting to seek revenge. Narcissistic people tend to project their feelings and make them a reality for those around them. And the difference being is those who tend to question whether they're the narcissistic one because we can all have these feelings and then there's the narcissistic one who believes that they're not the issue. Everybody else creates their issues. Failure. We can all be afraid to fail. We can all have a fear of failure. A narcissist will get you to a point where you don't do things for fear of failure so that they can coercively control you into living life on their terms. When it comes to a narcissist, any and all of their failings, mistakes, errors or wrongdoings, they go all out to blame and shame somebody else because they fail to take responsibility for their behaviour, whereby a genuine person, when they fail at something, they criticise themselves, they're left with doubt, they're left with looking at ways to improve. A narcissistic person doesn't do mistakes, they find somebody else to blame and shame for their failures. Rejection. It's not nice being rejected, especially by someone who's led you to believe they will be there for you and then they you find out that they've lied and cheated on you. This pulls your world from under you and it is heartbreaking. So no, it's not nice to be rejected. However, with a narcissist, they are craving that excessive admiration, attention and validation from those around them. So they get offended when people move on from them. They either seek to win that person back so they can punish the person for daring to stand up to them or they seek to punish that person, spread rumours, destroy that person any way they can. Most genuine people, they might tell the truth of what the narcissist has done to them but they still don't particularly want to see them completely ruined. Okay, some might in a moment. But with a, a narcissist, they their fear of rejection, they are going to create that for you, those feelings within you, by falling silent on you, by ghosting you, by triangulating you with somebody new. They're going to create their own feelings within you so that they can stand there and believe within their own mind that it's not me, it's you. You're the problem because they're going to blame other people. Losing control. Narcissistic people don't like not getting their own way. It fills them with anxiety and anger and fear. They are obsessed with control. They need to control people to get their own validation that they are right and they are better than all others. So they do not like losing control. No one throws a big tantrum than a narcissist losing control over somebody else's mind. They struggle losing control due to their need for validation, external validation. And as they have that sense of self-importance, they fail to recognise this within their own behaviour. They just create the reality for those around them so that they can blame other people.